absolutely correct, okay? Without any teeth or muscle to this law, okay, the BATF will still continue to do what it's doing to other states, which is come in, okay, and lock people up, okay, for possession. And if you believe that possession, okay, is an inherent right, that there's nothing, there is no victim in, in, in owning a firearm, okay, misuse in a crime is a different story. And misuse in a crime, the person should be penalized for misuse of the firearm. But the basic fundamental right, okay, about being able to own a piece of property, okay, should not be something the federal government comes into the state of New Hampshire and prosecutes for. Representative Whitehead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I need an education here. Mm -hmm. um, you said earlier that the Second Amendment does not give the federal government much control or gun control. The Second Amendment says thou shalt not be infringed. And I argued at that point that this particular ATF Form 4 is clearly more infringement than um, maybe regulations at other well, levels. I you to say that the states pretty much control various gun laws within their borders as opposed to the federal That's the way the Constitution was architected, correct. And you also made a statement that New Hampshire laws, by and large, parallel federal laws mm -hmm. relative to the guns. Yeah. So, uh, Am I to assume that there's a, um, there's a redundancy here that we in New Hampshire are controlled by federal laws as well as state laws, and do they overlap, do they conflict? Is there a redundancy, is there confusion here? There is all of the above, okay? Um, and there's differences between pistols and revolvers and long guns. There's clearly differences regarding um, things like suppressors. Um, so yes, it, it, clearly the laws in some cases are contradictory, in some cases are complementary, in some cases just don't even cover the same area. It's all of the above. What this bill allows is to say New Hampshire has the right to govern itself, okay, within its borders regarding things that are manufactured within its borders, okay, and sold to individuals within its borders and stay within its borders, okay. This is, this is the first step of many potentially for us to remind the federal government that its, its jurisdiction wasn't to control every trade of every item across every border, okay? Every kernel of, of rice or wheat, right? Um, they've been doing this for a number of years. We're 80 or 90 years into this at this point, okay? Maybe it's time for us to remind the federal government that they were there and, and established to oversee things that were state to state, but not necessarily within the states. Um, Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it sounds like you want to just kind of like kick the federal government out of all the taxing and regulation of both firearms, correct? And, and my point is, is that further on down the road, is it possible that the state could just come in and do the same thing? We're kicking out one beast and adding another. So, in the regulation department, and then further on down the road, they, they, they rule this law to be unconstitutional. Now they're back in the business of taxing and regulating. But so now we get twice the amount of tax Well, population. but that, and I respond speaking as a representative, what our state does is our responsibility, right? And citizens will hold us accountable. So if we decide after passing a law like this that we want to go regulate firearms at the same level or at a more increased level than the federal government, um, they will respond appropriately in the voting booth. I don't think that's what the citizens of our state want. In fact, I would argue strongly to the contrary that the citizens of our state want to be allowed to build and manufacture things, to have the free market um, be allowed in all sorts of, of, of manufacture. And manufacturing is an important, a important portion of our state. Okay, they want to be left alone, and this is a, this is a great bill to support that. Um, and lastly, I think I ended up sending around the wrong letter. That's the GOA um, endorsement of this bill, Gun Owners of America. This was the one I meant from Gary. Okay, I sent the wrong one around. One last, uh, one last question. I think you may have done the wrong one. Representative Davenport. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Um, so I'm having difficulty locating the part where a federal Okay. Um,
FBI guy, something like that, comes in and busts you. 